Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from GardenEquipmentReview.com. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today, uh, this is a slightly longer video because um, I've just written a lawnmower buying guide uh, 2020 and there were so many machines on the market. I thought I'd just put together an idea, just a, a brief description of the different types of mower available. I haven't counted, but I guess there's about 10 different types. So, um, so some people really haven't got a clue what to buy so this is just to help you sort of decide um, what might be suitable for your garden and you know with so many types on the of machine on the market it's, it's difficult sometimes to know what to purchase so um, th th these aren't in any particular order um, I've almost put them in an order that sort of and the, the, the order that come to mind first um, having said that this is um, what we're starting off with this rear roller rotary lawnmowers that um, to me these are some of the most practical mowers um, uh, for, for the majority of people they leave a good finish um, they stripe your lawn they can't cut really long grass but they can cut your grass after it's if you left it a few weeks they can normally just about cope um, very simple system uh, most of the more powerful petrol ones are, are roller driven there are push models available and electric uh, push models but they, they will still stripe your lawn so you've got a roller under here um, the grass shoots out in, in, into the bag and um, a dr dr drive up, a drive clutch up here um, for a very simple principle but, but, but it works um, if, if the weather's really wet these, uh, the, these mowers can clog up but um, for most people th this type of machine, a rear roller rotary is a good type of machine to, for someone to buy. They, they vary in sizes from a, starting from around about 14 or 15 inches up to uh, 22 inch machines um, and also professional machines too. The price, price ranges are around about £300 to 15 something like that. Um, so th that, that's a, to me that's, that's a very good machine to have. I've used these type of machines all my life. This one here is a wee bang. I've used haters, mountfields, hondas, all, all sorts. So um, with, with, um, I put down here electric start or recoil start. Well, personally, I would have recoil start um, because modern engines are pretty easy to start. But there is the electric option if you prefer it. Um, obviously, of course, a little bit more cost onto the machine, but not huge amounts. So uh, I'll just put a link here where you can find find more roller rotary mowers. Um, Moving on, we come to hover mowers. The hover mowers were very popular a few years ago, but they you still see them, but they're not used quite so much now. Uh, basically, they float on a cushion of air, and you're supposed to just be able to push them. Um, I think it's often easier to sort of pull them because then you're not pushing down on the cushion of air. But that's just my personal principle. Um, most of them don't have collectors, although some of the electric, small electric ones do. Um, one of the good things is for, for me, for a fly mo, is for doing banks. Um, you can uh, swing them around on a bank. I've actually seen people put ropes on their fly mo if they've got a really steep bank, so they can stand on the top of the bank and uh, just mow the bank from there, uh, which is a great idea as long as you take care. I think one of the reasons why these aren't quite so popular now, there's other machines that may have taken over, like a powerful brush cutter can stream a bank almost as quick as a fly mow. Uh, may not get quite the finish, but um, but they, they still have their uses and they're not bad value for money. For money. The, the fly mows vary in width from about 10 inches to 20 inches. I'll put my famous eBay link in here. It's always good to look for mowers um, online um, or on eBay rather. Just be careful what you buy if you're second hand, but if you're buying second hand, because some machines are brilliant second hand. Sometimes you're better off just to buy new, look after it, and um, keep it for several years and hopefully you have a trouble free life. So, anyway, I'll put a, um, a link to the, the hover mowers here. Um, Next ones we're coming to four wheeled rotaries, um, as shown in the picture. Four wheels, um, some of these rotaries, the wheels adjust individually, which there isn't really any need for that, I don't feel. Others have a lever on the front and the back, 
and more often not they just have one lever that adjusts the whole wheels. Now these won't stripe your lawn as such uh, but they will collect the grass and they will cut longer grass or longer grass than what a roller rotary will. The, the grass is simply a rotary blade underneath the grass is thrown into the box or the collector at the back and uh, there's no um, roller to obstruct the grass flowing so you can cut longer grass and have less blockages so a simple principle but it works now these come these can be push mowers at, and they come in electric and petrol form the um, the, the petrol ones to my mind are generally better you've got more power more versatility and um, just and no trailing cable, which is which is good. So um, I've, I've put a uh, I put a link here to where you can see more of our uh, four wheeled mowers. Once again, popular models: Wee Bang Honda, Hector, John Deere, Mountfield, Launch Flight Cobra, Fco, and more. There are lot, lots available. So uh, now we're coming on to the cylinder mowers. I think probably a cylinder mower is how off how often many of us think of a more, more traditional old-fashioned cylinder which you can see on cricket greens, golf uh, golf courses, um, tennis courts and what have you to give that extra fine finish. Cylinders um, have more like a, a scissor cutting action, very precise, you've got a bottom blade and then the cylinder that cuts the, cuts the grass um, against the bottom blade. So the, these machines um, got to be treated with care. For, for most people, I'd say a roller rotary is is almost better because it's a bit. Um, uh, for, for you can cut sort of rougher lawns with it and, and get a reasonable finish. But I, if you are looking for a bowling green finish, then definitely a cylinder mower is the answer. So something like this. This is a, a 20 inch machine, nicely engineered by Allet. Um, it does a great job and you've got a machine there that will last you for many years. I think I've, uh, in fact I've put down here, my father had a Ransom's Ajax which is a, a push machine and um, we, we still have it uh, 60 years later it still runs fine but I have to say it did look after it well. But it's um, when you've got a, a well engineered machine it will last you many years. Now the, these, um, these models are available in push, push electric and petrol. I personally, once again, I would go for the petrol just because I like the um, versatility of it. There are um, battery models becoming available. Just be aware that batteries can be expensive, but you have got that sort of silent power. When I was at a show this year, a trade show, I noticed how many electric machines were coming, um, had become available. So, so, so much had gone electric. But um, uh, it's still quite new technology, but it's a definitely improving all the time so it may be worth looking at in the future or even now. Um, so I'll put a link there to if you want to look at our range of cylinder mowers. Now we're coming on to ride on mowers um, and ride on tractors. Um, this particular one's a Westwood. Um, there's different types of um, uh, ride on tractors and uh, th th this one's a, one with a, a collector and a brush on the back. Uh, probably the best type of track, uh, best type of collector to be fair. Um, it work in wet conditions. Simple brush that's powered. Um, got a belt to power it. it. Just simply picks up the grass and throws it into the uh, collection bag, and then the collection bag can be tipped up from the driver's seat. Very very simple principle, but uh, works well. And the Westwood range have a roller on, so you also get a striped. Finish. Westwood have came a long way and Countax um, to what they were 30 years ago they sort of really developed and kind of got the machine uh, right now I think the decks are much stronger than they used to be um, which is great because at one time the decks were a bit weak but they seem to be much stronger now which is great um, the other type of collectors can be you can get the type where they have a tube coming out the side here uh, from a side discharge and go up up here but I wouldn't recommend that the, these uh, type of collectors they block very easily and the grass really has to be quite dry for them to work properly but properly also if you get tweaks or anything like that caught up in in there that will also block the machine now the third type is um, where the grass um, 
comes up between the axles, there's a large chute, and it shoots it into the bag. That is, uh, that's another good way. Um, once again, as time goes on, the, the collection systems are getting better and more efficient on mowers. I've, I've used a Honda and a Tizia um, with this type of collector on, but they really do collect quite well. A Tizia especially, as they're renowned for their um, ability to collect wet grass. So, um, and also here I've put about hydrostatic drive. Hydrostatic drive is um, it's an oil driven motor that gives you instant forward and reverse, variable speed, and it's much quicker than uh, the traditional gearbox and clutch. Um, you just got a foot pedal or a lever with instant forward and reverse. Could cost a little bit more. Most, most ride ons have a hydrostatic drive now, but there are a few cheaper models that, that don't. But if you can afford it, I'd definitely go for hydrostatic drive. Um, Put a link here um, to, to ride on to ride on mowers um, and a bunch of lawn tractors here. So moving on, we're moving on to uh, mulching mowers. Now that these are these are walk behind mulching mowers. This one's a Weebang Virtue 53. Uh, the Weebangs are quite solid little machines. Uh, this one comes with a three-year commercial warranty. I, I believe they have a five-year domestic warranty. So. A good warranty. Um, the uh, mulching mower works by keeping most mowers. They're trying to throw the grass out of the deck to um, make the most efficient use of power. But a mulching mower keeps the grass in the deck and um, it chops it up. They have special blades that um, assist with the chopping process. If, if you do your, if you cut your lawn regularly, it's um, it is a great tool. Um, but you can't leave it for weeks and weeks and expect your grass to mulch. So um, yeah, definitely def definitely worth thinking about. I really like the idea of mulching, no grass clippings to collect and um, no no, uh, no grass clippings to, st to store or to compost or anything like that. And also it gives a bit of colour in your lawn. It's in dry weather it helps to keep the grass green, just, just like a natural green fertiliser. So moving on uh, once again I put a link uh, to, to, to the mulching mowers um, coming on to zero turn mowers these are probably the most or not probably they are the most maneuverable mowers um, on the market I've owned several zero turn machines walk behind and sit on machines they can literally turn around on in them on themselves um, you've got a hydraulic motor on each rear wheel caster wheels at the front and you just use these two levers to steer them and they can just literally get anywhere. You can go around trees really quickly. Um, to me, the, uh, the most efficient way. Now these don't have collectors on. You can you can buy them with the collectors, but there aren't that, that, not that many with collectors on. The, the best answer is to buy a mulching deck. They're readily available. You can also get side discharge or rear discharge. But I would definitely go for a mulching deck if you can because um, once again no grass to, to, to pick up it's actually quicker to go out and do your grass regularly with a zero turn because it, it gets over the ground so quickly it's, it really is no effort at all um, but I said about the various cutting decks uh, I've got a link there now we're coming to uh, out front mowers now out front mowers probably they're probably close behind a zero turn mower these ones are articulated um, you can get them with the rear wheel steer but the articulated ones to my mind are best certainly very maneuverable you can spin round trees and um, like you can with a zero turn and um, yeah re really good lock on there so uh, and once again a very efficient cutting machine these are these have all got um, mulching decks on so no grass to clean up Hydrostatic drive, <clears throat> very simple to use. Um, definitely a machine worth thinking about if you've got a bit of a bit of ground. There's ten or twelve different models of these um, Steger out front mowers. Husqvarna also do a um, a similar similar machine, which have, which have used good 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 little machines, very efficient. Um, so I put a link to some more out front ride on mowers here. 
Uh, now we're coming up to robotic mowers. This is a robot, Robomo robotic mower. I've used these machines. Um, I've used them quite a bit actually, and uh, they do a great job. The uh, technology is improving all the time. You know, basically, you have a perimeter wire all around your garden or all around the edge of your lawn, and Robomo will follow this perimeter wire, then it will cut everything within the perimeter wire. One thing that's worth mentioning is that it's very important you do the setup or the installation properly as um, if you don't you'll be leaving bits of grass but if you spend a bit of time or get a professional to set up your over mow um, they will set it up correctly or should do and um, you should have uh, literally a, a mower that cuts your grass for you leaving you uh, very little to do if you set it up correctly. Basically they have a base station which is a charging station where they sleep and you can set your mower to come out two, three, four, even every day um, if you want to, four times a week. Um, just uh, whatever you prefer, they mulch so um, you can just set they're all on the time switch, you can set up a program, you can actually do it from your, there's an app you can have on your mobile phone um, that you can set to come out uh, when you want it to. It's also got a rain sensor on it, so if it rains it will go back to its charging house or if it's raining it won't actually start, it'll just come out uh, when it's dry. But the, app, the app's a great idea because you can kind of, you've got full, con full control with it. So um, amazing what you can do with technology. But definitely recommend the these mowers. Just um, if you've got a garden with lots of paths and lots of borders, it is possible, but it's much more practical with a more straightforward lawn to um, keep it um, to, to get it working efficiently. But all things are possible if you, if you take time in the installation. So um, I'll put a link. Um, there's yeah, there's a link there. I'll put another link at the bottom here. Don't like I put one. And now we're coming up onto flower mowers. Flower mowers are um, great for long grass, great for rough grass. Um, uh, they have uh, swinging blades on them that are on a horizontal shaft. Um, the great thing is if you hit something, um, hope like a tree stump, you're not going to bend the blade because the flowers fold up and, and get out of the way. So great for doing rough work, um, they cut down small brambles, small saplings and they will chop your grass at the same time. I've used these Oric machines, um, nice machines, they're, they're Japanese actually. Um, you can get them with a the Honda engine on which is uh, my preferred engine. Um, if you can get one with the Honda or, or one good, I think there's a two or three different engine choices. Um, I've also put a link here to, we've got a range of um, rough cut mowers, which they're, they're not all flails, some are just more, more like heavy duty road trees, or also great for doing overgrown areas. And then, uh, now we move on to, these have several names, scythe mowers, finger bar mowers, or sickle bar mowers. Um, uh, they uh, started, originated off, originated with the old fashioned Allen scythe that many people have heard of which came out in 1935 and carried on production until 73 um, so it had a very long life but these these are just like a more modern version you can get them on um, like two wheel tractors attachments or this one this Mountfield one um, they vary in width from around about two feet to four foot and they will also cut sort of rough areas long grass you can even make hay with them um, you can cut brambles down, you can cut um, small sort of saplings but um, up, up to probably about an inch thick to be fair. The only thing it won't do, like the flower does, it won't it won't um, chop the grass up so there is you, you do have to clear up afterwards but definitely a good way to clear an overgrown area. And finally we come to uh, gang mowers. Gang mowers can be trailed behind a uh, ride on mower or a tractor, or they can be like this Ransom's gang mower, which is a hydrostatically driven, hydrostatically driven machine, hydrostatically driven cutter heads. Um, 
these are the type of machines you'd have in a large, very large garden, in, in parks, golf courses. Great machines for covering the, the ground. They come in sizes from six foot to about 20 foot, something like that. Um, if you can get a good one second hand, it could be a good buy if, you're, um, if you've got a large garden. But uh, more for the professional, definitely. So, to conclude, um, I've just been through all the different types of mower. If you want to make a comment, if you've got any questions, please feel free to comment below. We're here to help. Um, I'm going to put this video, embed this video, this blog post. You can uh, like this video, comment on it, or if you've got any thoughts on any, any of these machines, please, please feel free to um, get back to us. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you another time.